everyone. Welcome to Sean Allen Films The Educational Series. I'm Sean Allen. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at nails. This is part three of a three-part series on the integumentary system. In part one, we looked at skin. In part two, we looked at hair. If you've not checked out these videos yet, I suggest you go watch them right now. However, if you have seen them already, then let's get going with today's episode. Okay, so what's so interesting about nails? Seriously. Well, it turns out they're part of the integumentary system. They're kind of like our own version of claws. Nails are made of a very hard type of protein called keratin. Your nail is divided into several parts. First, you have the nail plate. This is pretty basic because it is part of the nail that is seen on the finger or toe. The area beyond the nail plate is called the free edge. Underneath the nail plate is the nail bed. Next, we have the lanola. This is the white section where your nail meets with your skin. This part of the nail is thicker than the nail plate. The area where the lanola meets with the skin is called the cuticle. The area where the nail is deep in the skin is known as the nail matrix. This is where new nail is formed. There we go. You may be asking yourself this question. Just how do nails regenerate? Keratin is produced inside the nail matrix. As this happens, it pushes the old nail outside beyond the lanola. Believe it or not, but the nail that we see is composed of dead cells. So even though women tend to paint their nails, um, they're actually painting something dead. It is always a good idea to take good care of your nails. Believe it or not, they are much like your hair. However, hair has a resting stage. Nails, they don't. They just keep on growing. Now, it is true that nails will continue to grow, but you do run the risk of killing it. Here's an example. Let's say you're about to hammer in a nail in a piece of wood. You accidentally stick your thumb on top of the nail. As the hammer comes down, you bash your thumb really hard. If this accident were to damage the matrix, sorry to say this, but you just killed your nail. So always be very careful when using heavy materials or are using construction tools. Also, be sure you know what you are doing in advance so that you don't cause serious injury. Okay, so now we know what a nail is composed of, the different parts of a nail, and the growth of a nail. What about the different uses of the nail? That is a very good question. Nails can be used for many different things. Such as scratching a smelly sticker. Or flipping through the pages of a book. It also helps you with your grip. There is one problem that people can get that is very painful. And that is ingrown toenails. This is where the nail starts to grow inward into the skin and causes it to crack, ooze, and even bleed. This can happen either by wearing the wrong size of shoe or perhaps a growing disorder in the nail. This can cause an infection if it isn't treated immediately. So be sure to get medical attention if this should occur. Well, that about wraps it up for our discussion on nails. Let's go over a quick review. Your nail is divided into several parts. The nail plate, the free edge, nail bed, lanola, cuticle, and nail matrix. The nail is made of a protein called keratin. New nail is produced in the nail matrix and is pushed out beyond the lanola. As a safety tip, be sure to be careful when using heavy equipment around your fingertips. And with that everybody, we are finished with the integumentary system. We looked at the skin, the hair, and nails. We've done pretty good so far, but we're not stopping yet. Next week, we're going on into the skeletal system. You don't want to miss it. Before you go, be sure to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out Sean's Google Plus page and Facebook page. The links are down below. Well, everybody, that's it for today's episode. Until next time, keep on learning.